Hey everybody, what's up? I wanted to just do a short video on an IGN feature that was done regarding Rock Band 4 last week. And one of those big features was the sequel to Rock Band 3 that was eventually cancelled. Now, the game was called Rock Band Sessions. If you guys haven't seen or even read about it, you can read it at rockbandaid.com or you can just go to the IGN video, which is in the description below. And basically, Rock Band Sessions was something that Harmonix was talking a lot about in the years that led up to Rock Band 3 and even after Rock Band 3 was released. They were always looking at a way to allow the player to basically create their own music from scratch. And that's really what Rock Band Sessions was. Rock Band Sessions didn't feature any licensed music. It didn't feature any bands that we know of. It was basically you a play as a player with your band creating music. So one of the things that was shown off in the IGN feature was that the developers would basically give you you know, maybe some pre-written music, whether it's a drum track, then the bass track, and then you would have to come up and fill up the fill in the gaps with the guitar track. So you'd basically be laying down the guitar track and trying to figure out exactly what you want to play. And then once you've done all that, you can actually play your composition. And the original idea was that this was supposed to be a collaborative uh, game where you'd be playing with three other bandmates. And then Harmonix realized that having four people trying to create music at the same time was really difficult. So it really evolved into a single player experience. And the other thing that was evident was that the big challenge for them was actually making this game accessible. Um, you know, a big hurdle to actually releasing this product was that charging people $60 for a game where you don't get any songs you know of or any licensed music where you're basically creating all the songs yourself would have divided the community a lot like the pro guitar and pro bass feature did in Rock Band 3. And also, I think as a player myself, upon hearing this idea, I probably wouldn't have bought a game like this. To me, I play Rock Band because I love playing my favorite songs, you know, on a fake instrument and feeling like I'm a rock star. And that's really why I play Rock Band. For me, the most creativity or creative expression I'm willing to do in the game is to play the drum fills, and that's basically it. Uh, you know, everybody's different, but for me, a game like this doesn't really speak to me. I think this would have been a great addition to maybe Rock Band 4 as like a separate mode. But I think Harmonix did the right decision by not eventually releasing this product. Another reason they didn't release this game is because of latency. They said a, a big issue was, you know, if you're playing drums and you're trying to create your own tracks, the lag that actually occurs from the time you hit the drum to the time it actually shows up on the screen to when your audio system outputs that is so noticeable that it really ruins the entire experience. I think that it was an interesting feature at. It was, I wonder, one question I really wanted to know was how long was Harmonix actually developing this product for? Because after Rock Band 3 came out, you know, within a month or two, they basically said, hey, the sales were disappointing for Rock Band 3. They didn't meet our expectations. I would imagine around that time, that's when the game was eventually scrapped. There were a couple of prototypes of the game. IGN did play the prototype. So they do have some videos of the, of the game up on their website if you guys want to check it out. But I'd like to know what are your guys' thoughts. Would you have bought a game like Rock Band Sessions or would you have just, you know, totally forgotten about it? Leave your comment section below. And if you guys want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live, including Amplitude, click the subscribe button. Take care.